One of the much talked about new features of Photoshop CS5 is this content aware functionality. Now, the Adobe video itself shows you, but the detail is lacking, it's very low resolution. So what I'm going to do here is show you what it's actually capable of in kind of, you know, nice detail and high res. So here we go, got the spot healing tool enabled and content aware. And watch this. It just disappears. I should use a smaller brush. Look at that. Seamless. Let's try it on something else. Maybe this island here. Pretty good, huh? Some clouds. Whoosh. Some more clouds here. Let's get some bigger brushes going. It's not perfect, but it, it's pretty damn good. And that's just an algorithm there. And you can keep going over it again, touching up the bits that you're not sure about. Look at that. Just go straight away. Now, there's also a fill tool, so you can select a, an area, fill, content aware, and that does much the same thing. Seems to be better for larger blocks of area. You can also use it on empty blocks as well, which I'll show you in a sec. See, it didn't quite get that right, so we'll just do it again. Much better. And we can get rid of a bit of cloud. See, I, oh, that's weird. Let's try some more. So you can see it's it's borrowing bits from other bits of the photo. This bit here is borrowed from here. Let's try this. There's some complex clouds at the bottom. Look at that. It's not it's not perfect, but it's okay. This is not so good. See? It's more believable. Now the bit I want to try is can I actually create a new photo using the content fill? So can I actually take this block here and fill it? Now I'm doing this at quite low resolution. On a high resolution photo this would take some time I think. Look at that. We can add some up the top. That's pretty crazy. Admittedly this bit here isn't very good, so let's try that and see what it does. It does almost look real, to be honest. And that's Photoshop CS5's new content aware functionality.